Excuse me. What's going on, everyone's, everyone's, <laughs> everyone's. We are back with yet again another episode of Is My Point Valid? And we're here. Valid. And um, my name is Brandon D. Stocker. And I am Camille A. Stocker. And Is My Point Valid is a show where we discuss different topics and give you our points of view to see if our points are valid or not. And um, yeah, today. What you know good, baby? What you know good? <laughs> what you know well, no good? Today is the first day of March. So huh. Shouts out to March. It's a new month. Huh. But uh, it is the first day of Women's History Month. So, so shout out to all of... Is it Women's History Month or... Women's History Month. Just women. Ain't no men. No, I mean, like, <laughs> like not black women. It's all women. All women. Okay. So shouts out to all women. On y'all month, we shot uh, my wife. She a woman. So shout out to her on this uh, very first day of March. But anyway, moving right along. Um, Today, the topic is going to be conversations that we must have. Huh. And that's conversations within relationships. That's conversations with your children. That's conversations with your siblings. And your parents as well. So we're going to break it down um, in those four categories and give you a little bit of the conversations that we have with these individuals or these groups of people or uh, these categories and um, the conversations we feel like uh, need to be had in order for us to uh, mm -hmm. uh, prosper. prosper. Or, uh, I mean, not be... I'm not prosper. Uh, the conversations we need to have in order for us to be on the same page. On the same page, yeah. yes. So, um, let's start with relationships. Mm -hmm. What are the conversations that we need to have within relationships? And when we say relationships, we're like boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. What are some conversations? Hmm. I don't know. Um. <clears throat> I really don't know. You don't I, know what conversation. Start me off. Be? Give me, give me. Well, going. one conversation I know, um, and this is going to go with um, probably all four categories is boundaries. Oh, that is definitely. You think there needs to be boundaries in a relationship? I feel like um, there think there needs to be some things that there are going to be some things that need to be discussed in order for you to be on the same page. So yes, I do believe. But what, okay, in a relationship, what type of boundaries, like, um, what lines don't I need to cross? For us, okay, we can say for us, for us being married, uh, this line? month is going to be seven years. How are we going to be seven years? Uh, seven years, uh, say. Seven years of good luck, hey. Yeah. Yes, goodness. But, um, anyway. What what are some things? What, is, what are some boundaries <laughs> that we need to have within relationships? Um, I know for one, um, the boundary of work and home or business and home. There needs to be some kind of cutoff because I know with me, <clears throat> I have a tendency to just run everything into each other. So compartmentalize. Basically different things when you are at work and when you yeah that's true he, that so, is about but that's a boundary within that you have to do with yourself no not necessarily because i could come home and all of the things that I, that happened to me at now say all right say i'm having a bad day and instead of bringing that home to everyone i could kind of keep that away from my family because i know for me in our in our home, um, the things that I go through tend to trinkle into the house. Yes. So, um, and this is I mean this, this little conversation is, is I'm talking to myself as well because I I actually deal with this. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, just uh, keeping keeping things separate. Uh, whatever's going on outside of the home doesn't need to come into the home because. Uh, your your feelings or the things that you're going through uh will they affect the people affect, around you exactly that that's true like you said if, if we're using you as an example hmm. we have <clears throat> had instances where things didn't go right at work 
<laughs> Absolutely. Or, yeah, things didn't go right at work. Or in, uh, or any other place outside of the home. Right. And the first thing, the first people who get that with the that extraness or mm -hmm. that upsetness the is, wrath. is yeah, yeah is the wrong people exactly and so with that just to be um transparent when you do that i've learned to hold up you might and at the time you might not want to hear me say it 10 times out of 10 i don't but what you're not about to do huh. <laughs> i always hit you with the what you're not what, a, you're, what not you're not about, about to, to do, do is sit here and take something out on us when we didn't do anything to you That's right. when I hadn't been around you all day to make you feel some type of way. So with, uh, yeah, those, that is a boundary that does need to be, um, that's a conversation that needs to be that had. Needs to be had. Yeah. Yes. A conversation that needs to be had. So what are other conversations that you're supposed to have in a relationship? Um, hmm. I don't know. In relationships, what kind of boundaries do we need to have in relationships? Are you saying conversations? conversations. Conversa what conversations do you have? Uh, I mean, being petty, food, <laughs> the types of food that you like to eat. I mean, <laughs> that is a conversation. Because, like, for me, there's a lot of things that I don't like, like seafood, like he said one thing that he didn't like, like seafood. But I'm just saying, I mean, you that, that is an instance. Okay. But other than that, in relationships, a conversation needs to be had. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Ooh, ooh, let's go back. Let's go back because I, I had started with marriage. Let's go back to like being single. <clears throat> Do, does the conversation of marriage need to come up? If you're single, if your boyfriend and girlfriend, oh, it depends on how long you've been in this relationship. Not even, I don't. Then it, it depends on the people who are in the relationship, because I know for us it came up. That wasn't even on my my mind. You brought it up. I don't remember that, but anyway, I remember. I don't. You messaged me. You said I'm gonna marry you. Like this man crazy. But anyway, it, but that's a conversation that should be had. Be had. Um, what's another conversation? Do you want kids? With single oh. people <laughs> expectations. What are your expectations? Yeah, because uh, I know um, a lot of people don't have the same upbringings. Don't believe. Oh, that's a good the same point. Things. Look at your point don't, being valid. You feel me? I'm coming with it, uh, but we don't come from, we don't have the same backgrounds. We don't um, believe the same thing. That should be a Religion conversation. Are different. That should def definitely be um, a discussion. I, and I'm trying to think back, but I don't think we had those discussions. I don't think so either. I think we just fell we into just went it. into. Yeah. Yikes. So that is a good point. <laughs> That's why we are here. These are the things that need to be, these are the conversations that need to be had. So for the people who are like us, this is a shortcut. Have the conversation. Have the conversation. Don't be finding out stuff later on. I'm but uh, to Like, yeah, whether you want to have children, if you don't want to have children. I've seen, you know, a lot of women, they don't want to have children. And another thing is how I know um, disciplining your children. Yeah. That, well, that needs to be a conversation as well because, uh, like I say, we come we, coming we, from that's true. You are two people coming from two different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Of course, some of our our struggles or our fun were similar, but I know there's a lot of different things that you are probably seeing now into our marriages. Like, whoa, we're really different. Like mm -hmm. our family. Is, Our upbringing is real, real different, yeah. and it's like you get it's like, yeah, it's, it's different, but um, yeah, discipline, disciplining how you're going, how um, talk to your children as well. Yeah, these are dang, these are good conversations that you are that they, you should they, they have, that had, you should have, yeah. but they aren't being had now. Before we move on to children, children. Why aren't we having these conversations? 
Well, if you don't know, you can't really, I mean, there's nothing you can do if you don't know. If the conversation is not being had with us, then how would we know to have the conversation with someone else? Huh? I'm saying if the con if the if if the things were not if we were never told to discuss these things, then how would we know to? Uh, well, oh yeah, because a lot of things that we do discuss, it wasn't we weren't not going to have those conversations, discussions. right? It was yeah. uh. You know, this is what it's we just do. like it's just like credit and money management. These conversations are not being had. So, right. Yeah. So now. But what's changing now? Why are people? Why do we feel that these are the conversations that need to be had? Because we need a better understanding of who we're dealing with. Yeah, it ain't. I don't, yeah, it's, it ain't. It, it, it ain't it, I don't it's think not it's like just, it used to be. Things have changed. Yeah. I need to know certain things before I even proceed mm -hmm. so yeah i mean if we weren't married i have a million questions i don't and i don't i don't think i had a million questions back in back because my sincerity just spoke for itself so what if somebody <laughs> is being faking it's sincere just, uh... and then they marry and then they you're in a relationship and they get married and then you have children and they bamboozle you they swindle you so what happened? Lord, that's hard. I mean, eventually the person would tell on themselves, but how long is that eventually is the question. So I don't I don't know how to really I don't know. I mean, you did we always run into fugazi people. And then okay, going back to the marriage. And I'm trying to figure out, did we have a conversation about me staying at home? Or was it just, I feel that it was just a, bam, I'm not going to work anymore. I'm going to go to work and you take care of Ava. And I feel like that's what it was. I don't think there was a real a sit, -down a sit down conversation. Do you remember? I don't remember a sit down conversation. I remember uh, that, that it is what it is. It just happened like that. And so how you're saying you have to have the conversation sometimes when we I, here we go, because I know I, we didn't have the conversation. It probably would have been better if we would have had the conversation. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Because sometimes it would feel like, oh, I need to. I don't know if this is right. Like, mm -hmm. I, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then you are not. You're the type of person. See, we're talking about conversations that we must have. But you are a, a person who won't have a conversation i wouldn't so how, how you grown. gonna how you gonna <laughs> i have grown how you gonna you still will not have a conversation but for a, a while i would be like oh is this um too much strain and then here i was not having the conversation not being able to reach out and not thinking i could reach out or not think or saying do verbalizing you have, your emotions or, or how you was feeling or whatever. do you have an understanding yeah. of what this is and then sometimes i would say like remarks well you know i can't well no you know that's not what we agreed upon and then that would give me like clarity but it was never a conversation of you're doing this for the now we have the conversation yeah. because it's it's clear on where we're trying where to go. we're trying to go yeah. But I never felt I never wanted to put like too much burden. And I, I think I wanted to have that conversation. But what if what if somebody's not willing to have the conversation? talk back to you? Oh, man. Then, I, uh, then what do you do if they're not willing to talk back to you directly? <laughs> so who else they going to tell? I'm I don't asking, know. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I was, that was a question I'm asking. Oh, I was like, I'm asking you the question. Like, I mean, in the conversation, I'm asking yeah. you the question. And you're not replying. And you're not replying back. Yeah. On the conversation. That can be tough. I mean, Since, I guess the comment, you would need to have the conversation of why don't you feel like. And then they still not going to get anything. Well, because I maybe that like, may not be the person for you then. 
okay, you can't say that because then maybe you, you so you know you're not the person for me. I mean, eventually <laughs> our dog gonna open up and and we figure it out. So we, I did. There, there's a compromise. That's Even though I don't compromise. feel like it or I don't want to, I eventually do. That's not a, see. This is this. These are the conversations you need to have. That's um not even just about. I don't. You just have to have conversations. Yes. Anyway, talking is important. You also have to have conversations about your emotions. You have to have conversations about uh, well, emotions. What how you're feeling. You, what buttons you don't need to be pushing. No, I don't agree because I'm gonna try and push that button anyway. I mean, I mean, if you tell me, I'm a, I'm a, let's try it. Okay. And then when you push it, it's like, uh, 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 so oh. that's what happens. No, I'm joking. Yeah. But um, what are other conversations? Other conversations. We need to have financial conversations. Yes. Yeah, so you need to know who, 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 who's, what, who's, when, and where. Who's the better person with money? Yes. Who ain't the better person with money? Yeah. Who's going to try and make. And in the conversation of it's not a one sided thing that this is a two person. It needs to be a two way street. It's, it's it's a two person thing. We decided to. I mean, I'm speaking on marriage, but I know there's not people who are married. They're yeah. you know together. But if you're having that conversation and it's just not, oh, okay, I'm gonna do this on my own. So what's the point? Like that's how I be feeling. Like that's real. What's the point? Why are we here? Why are we here? Mm -hmm. If if you can't like talk to me, we're talking about conversation. If you can't talk to me and say, "Well, I'm struggling with this," or "I need help with this," and how am I supposed to know? Hmm. Conversation. Talk about it. And I think I would bug you because I would want to have conversations, and it wasn't because. I'm trying to bug you. It's like, I need to know because I am here. Yeah. And for someone who doesn't like conversation, it does seem like a nag. But it talk. But it is what it is. <laughs> no, you, you cannot say it is what it is. I do not feel I don't agree. And my point is valid. I don't agree with that. Because if you can't, this is just how I feel. You talking about. Then we'll move on to children. If you're in a relationship and you're saying, well, I love you and I want to be with you and you mean the world to me. So talk to me talk, like legit for real. Talk to me. Tell me what it is that you need help with, what it is that you need from me. And it will we'll try to the best of our ability together. Like that's how I feel in going back in the beginning, it didn't feel like that, right? No, it did not. It was just like la, 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 one la, person, la, 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 and I la, and I la, felt la. like I was trying. And then you know, when you're trying, it's like okay, well, this person does not want to have this conversation with me. And then you you be like, well, I'm about to be done. And then when you when the per when a person shows, see, this is why it's, and conversations are important. And when a person is gives starts giving you the cold shoulder and then making you feel some type of way, then that's when you want to have a talk. conversation. Yeah, like that's wild. I was trying to talk to you. I was trying to you, you know now what I, I mean. Talk. Now I want to talk. Uh. So conversations in general just need to be had, and it could just even be uh you know starting off with how was your day and yeah. then go into that so with children what conversations what conversations do we need to be having with our children i know for one um we need to be discussing uh societal issues with our children as far as what's going on in schools because a lot of things are changing um, some things that uh, wouldn't be considered normal or what do you the word normal um, are things that are socially acceptable in um, I know for me it's kind of uh, scary mm -hmm. to have your kids out there and, and I mean especially with what's going on 
Um, I don't want to get specific or anything, but uh, there's a lot of things going on in our school systems, and um, we need to discuss those type of things with our children, like uh, the, the the kinds of people they're going to be encountering, um, maybe uh, older people approaching our kids, talking to our children, trying to warm them up to certain things, mm -hmm. um, just a lot of the, the different things that could happen to children in society. We need to make our children aware of these things. Another thing um, for our black children, uh, especially boys, mm -hmm. we need to make them aware of their, um, their, their, um, I don't know how to, say, I don't know what it is, but um, I don't know the word for it, but, when as as far as people, black boys are not equal when we go out into society and we encounter oh, police about... and things like that. So we need to make them aware of the fact that um, we're not equal. <laughs> the fact that they're black. That, exactly. Basically. <laughs> that, that, okay. Yeah, we need to make yeah, them aware least. of the fact that they're black. The fact that they're the fact that. They should. They're not on e even playing field. The fact that they should be equal, but we are not just because of um, their greatness. And that's what we need to have the conversation of telling. I know we need to tell all children that they are great, yes. but we um, we can speak from uh, our black <laughs> from being <laughs> black that um, black children, you are beautiful. You are great. No matter and what they tell you. Don't let anybody tell you yeah. different. But I know that although I have those conversations with the girls, although I'm telling, you know, having these conversations, they have to, they're going to have to experience it on, on their, their own. own. Yeah. But they still need to be ready for that. So it need that that's the conversation that needs to be had that but it's, are they it's, ever it's ready? out there. I it, mean, not, you, I wouldn't say ready, but prepared. I don't even know if it's prepared. It's just I. I don't I'm want them to you, go out there blindly and think it's all hunky dory when it ain't. It's just I'm giving you this this information, and I need you to remember this information that I'm giving you because somebody else will go water it down if they mm -hmm. have that conversation with you. So I have to give it to you as real as it, as real as it is. And a lot of the conversations that I have with the six and seven year old, some of the things I have not gone through like personally, personally. Yeah. But because I've watched documentaries <laughs> a lot that makes me know that I need to have the conversations because of what my children say they want to be when they grow up. Yeah. So, or also when they go back into the whenever if the I put if, whenever yeah. I choose to put them back in, that they know what it is. Mm -hmm. Build them up so much that nothing that that's being said contrary to that is even a factor. Right, because if you look at look at the stories or you know about a lot of black children well this person made me feel you know made mm -hmm. me feel but it's like the conver this conversation does start at home the conversation does start with the parents um yeah so what other conversations do we need to have with our children i say we should have conversations about being kind hmm. that's a good one Cause you didn't like of, that. There's a lot of mean kids out there's here. There's a lot of mean children. Yeah, yeah, and that's where bullies come in, and yeah. To really, to really be kind, but be you empathetic. Also, I, we also have that conversation. Hey, if somebody put their hands on you, hold up. Now you have you, my. So we're permission. not turning the other cheek <laughs> no, over here. But you, I do feel like the conversation of being kind and really, really treating people with respect. Respect. Really and and but but the first conversation that you should ever have with your ch child um, is respecting themselves mm -hmm. because when they show themselves respect, then other people are going to respect them. Yeah. I, that's just, I really feel like that. 
I really feel that fall all the way to the bottom of my feet, right? Um, that you respect yourself, other people are gonna see, oh, all right, I see you. I'm yeah. not gonna mm-hmm. overstep my bounds or, curve, or, nothing, or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. So, and then, yeah, so being kind and respecting others, respecting other people's space because with all honesty, some people ain't gonna want food with you. That's real. Some people are not going to want to fool with you, mm-hmm. and you have to be okay with that. Yeah. And but in that, like I said, the, in that com- it's a conversation. I'm preparing them, but they have to get that on their own or experience it on their own. On their own to so say, like, why know. such and such don't fool with me? And then I really want those conversations to click and be like, oh, they don't fool with me because, because. yeah. So let me just respect their wishes mm-hmm. and move out of the way and it, and, and that children know that it's okay to move out the way you ain't, everybody ain't gotta like you mm-hmm. i know our mamas and told us that a whole bunch everybody ain't gotta like everybody you. everybody ain't gonna like you and everybody is not going to like you yeah. you don't have to like everybody yeah. right but you do show kindness and you do show respect that's real doesn't matter you know a, that's why the world is a messed up place right now because everybody wants to, <laughs> your, your skin color, you mm-hmm. you this, you that, and whatever. Shoot, I I'm be as long as you being kind to me, I'm be kind. I'm gonna be you. kind to you. Yeah, and I'm gonna respect you. I'm move out your way. That's my respect. <laughs> but um, yeah. So you wanna what else conversations with your should, children? Should children have with your children? Or what are important other important conversations that children should have, or or know? Um, I, most of it is respect. Respect. <laughs> I was about to say respect your elders, but that's respect. Respect. Yeah. Table manners. That's respect. Yeah. Speaking to people when they speak to you lord have mercy let's get into it this <laughs> man so you want to you want to talk for instance for instance okay so if you it, not, all right so this was the, the the case we were in the uh in the store yes and our neighbor um happened to speak to isabel and ava mm-hmm. isabel and ava being as timid as they are that is, ain't had nothing to do with timid but go ahead just being scary that didn't have nothing to do with what that you thought. Either. What you think it was? They was on a mission. They were on a mission. Okay. Well, anyway, Isabel <laughs> said nothing, and Ava threw up that little "I'm scared to say anything" hand. And um, when I saw that, it was it was man. I felt I, it made me feel some type of way because we are t- we have taught them better than that. It's like if somebody speaks to you, especially somebody that you know, mm-hmm. you speak back. You speak back. You don't just walk, keep on walking. Ever. And then I seen the look on the lady's the, face. Her, her face. And it was like, oh, so y'all just going to keep walking? I thought I was tripping. You saw that too. I saw that too. <laughs> I was like. She was like, huh? It was like, what? That's what got me because I thought when she, because I waved, I had two cups in my hand, but I, and I still did it. Yeah, you throw up a head or something. But she wasn't paying attention to me. She was was paying attention to the girls. Exactly. And I was so, and so we had a conversation. We did. We we had a conversation. That's the conversation that needed to be had. That needed to be had because I feel, like you said, if somebody speaks to you, then it's okay. Especially if you know if them. If you know them. And especially if I'm standing right beside you, nobody's it's okay. Gonna eat you nobody's gonna do, do anything. Nothing no, to I, you. I, ain't, I ain't about to let nothing happen to you. I'm about to, <laughs> you think I'm <laughs> but in that moment, there was a teaching moment. Yeah. So we had to take that and, and have a conversation, mm-hmm. have a teaching moment and say, Hold up, have you lost your mind? Yeah. First off. We don't write like that. <laughs> first off. It's, as soon as somebody speaks to you, you open up your mouth mm-hmm. and you speak. Okay, if you don't open up your mouth and you throw do, a hand, you, a head, a nod, a smile, or something, acknowledge. acknowledge. Exactly. I remember the conversation my daddy had with me um, when we would go down, and I think one time I don't know why I did. I think I don't remember. I know I got in trouble, 
Yeah. And he told me, you ever, you, you better speak. Mm -hmm. Yes. And every time, and it was just every time you walk into a room, and you speak. walk into somebody's house, speak. You how you doing? It. Exactly. Hey, how you doing? That's all. That's all it takes. Yeah. That's all it takes. That's, boy, that's a big no no. Just a conversations that need to be had. Yeah. Tell your good. kids to that do the right need, thing. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. I better do the right thing you and do stop. The right thing, like but like you said, but no, I think they were on a mission with them. They felt that them boxes was most important. Most important. They had their blinders on and they were headed to, to the go, door to the door to eat their food. So I, I'm giving them. They were wrong. The benefit of the doubt. They were wrong. Yeah. But I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt also because it was, it was a teaching moment. We yeah. had to take that moment and say, "Hold on, y'all." Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Because you've been put in a whole lot of other situations, and I've seen it, which they speak, but it's like, no, somebody is speaking mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. People are, and, and, and I guess for us, because we're grown, and they there's little children, people be excited to see them, and I don't exactly. think they understand, they understand that, that part. Yeah. That people be so excited to see them and want to hug them and touch them, and mm -hmm. people ask about them, and so for them, they don't have that same excitement <laughs> when they see other people, right? Unless it's certain a, people, certain people, yeah. it's like, yeah, come on. <laughs> they give you that 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 don't tip. Yes, don't tip. So it's like, okay, but hold on, not to sway away, but is that something that we taught them? too we kind of taught them not to like you know strangers I guess, and yeah, you yeah, get what stranger i'm saying danger and all i ain't never say stranger never danger say stranger, but yeah but same concept <laughs> you know yeah. but so maybe in a sense now we're we saying we them now they're saying it's okay yeah it's okay if we're around like yeah. just don't be hey how you Willing doing you know how some kids adults. how some kids you go to a store like um when we were um at the store the other day a little girl she was just waving yeah i waved back but i got out of her way because I, I don't i don't fool with children like that um like just in a store like mm -mm, i'm gonna wave at you yeah, and move out the way moving. but uh yeah that was just a teaching moment and we had to have that conversation and get them right and so i uh, i hope that the next time I know that the next time they they're gonna uh, act proper like yes yeah yes so moving on to siblings oh, conversations you have to have what with are your... some of the conversations you need to have with your siblings I don't know uh, we're gonna go back to boundaries uh. <laughs> I, I know boundaries is gonna be one uh -huh. um all right all right for, so uh i got these partners they're brothers and they never seem to be on the same page because there's certain conversations that they're not having and those conversations are um first off they're not mentally they're not on in in this in the same realm as far as finances home and family and things like that so mm -hmm. so that plays a factor that in all siblings uh, I'm not going to say in all siblings, but it definitely plays a factor in their relationship because they're not able to come together and I guess uh, have a heart to heart. It's like they're so caught up in being hard or whatever it is that they're doing um, that they they don't even realize that one is suffering when it's right in front of their face. Mm. Mm. So my thing is, even though you come from the same household, you grew up in this with the same parents and all of that there, they don't automatically assume that understanding is going to be there. Right. Cause you're two different people. You're two different people. You process things differently. differently. What you may remember as from your childhood, your other sibling may not. They and may, and you'd yeah. be like, man, you tripping. Yeah. No, I'm not. I don't Or they might have threw it out. They threw it out their mind. So right. they, they, they don't want to have to deal with it. Right. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> just don't assume that you can't, since you came up in the same place, that all understanding is going to be there. Right. Because they, like I said, they, 
they um they're not on the same page. And what I what I what I tend to do is when I get them together, I kind of mediate the situation because I know I know the the message or what they're trying to get to each other, mm -hmm. but they just don't know how to get it to each other. Mm -hmm. So through me, I can help get that message to the next to the to the next person. So that's what I tend to do when I'm around them because, like I say, they they just don't have the verbiage or the I don't know what it is. So what would they need or what would to get on the same page? What, to, conversation what conversation would need to be had? How do you have that conversation? I think it's just basically it's a heart to heart. Like I say, they so they so manly, they, they're so manly. It's like I don't want to break down and, and, and tell you exactly what's going on. I automatically expect you to know what's going on because you're my brother. So it's like that. I can see that. I can see that. I can see that at autumn, as you, as me having brothers and a sister, mm -hmm. that I think I may have felt like that sometimes. You should see where I'm coming from. Yeah. But, but we I not don't. This, but we, but yeah. we, or maybe they felt that. I don't know. But yeah. I'm just saying that, no, even though we grew up in this, like you're saying, in the our same. Experiences our experiences are different. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's wild. And though. then our parents don't. Our parents, they, they uh, we, we would hope for them to treat us all the same, but no. that's nine times out of ten, that's not the that's not the case. They can't treat us the same, and here's why they can't treat us the same because we're not the same. That's real. We are not. But I mean, as far as you mean, like opportunity, like everybody's or... on the same playing field. Nah, now that I don't agree. <laughs> with cuz we're not on the same playing field. We're not on the Ava and Isabel are not on the same playing field. No, they're not. See? So <laughs> they're not on the same playing field, so you can't say we can't treat them the same. Yeah. We can't There's no cookie cutter parenting. No. Yeah. No. Because you give Isabel an orange and Ava an apple. Ava don't want that apple. Well, she'll eat, you know, Isabel don't want that orange. You need to switch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not, it's not the same. And their understanding of how, you know, is is different as well. Um, so I, I I'm real cautious because they're siblings. So we have to talk about I'm real cautious of try to be cautious of how I give it to them to them and not. And seeing this here's the hard part because at first I was like, oh, you know, I still do. You go to the store and you see something. I might see something for Ava. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ava's really gonna like that. Well, now let me go try and find, find something for, for Isabel. Isabel. Yeah. You know, but don't get the same don't, thing because no, she's not she's gonna not, be feeling it. Right. She can be like, well, it's nice. Yeah. It, yeah. It was like that's not. I don't like that. So we're we're. We're different people. Different, yeah. We're different people. Although our parents are the the the, the two people who had all of like gave the same, dog yeah, that, yeah. that we came from. Nah. So what other conversations should siblings have? Siblings it is have. wild <laughs> that um that sh siblings should have. Mm. Uh, should siblings talk about feelings? Yes, if we. Oh, I did say. This. Yeah, we just talked about the feelings. I bet. Bad. But I mean, really talk about feelings, emotions, and all of that. Yeah. Hmm. I think that'll get a bit that'll help them get a better understanding of why they react the way that they do. Like for me. Mhm. Mm I uh, never mind. <laughs> um, I was gonna get into uh the um. I don't I don't really think people understand why I react the way I do, and for a long time I didn't really understand it. But um, right. Okay. So we're saying we have need to have these conversations, and you know, with siblings and. 
uh, your partner, your spouse, or whoever relationships, your relationships, yeah. mm -hmm. and you don't know who you are. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Well, we don't know who we are. We we trying to figure it out, and we need to have conversations with ourselves that's and right. try and figure out what it is that's wrong. I don't want to say what's wrong, but have conversations Our and issues. see what, what's going on deep down inside. And then you can say, you know, talk to your siblings. Oh, you remember when this happened? Mm -hmm. And then say, do you know why this happened? But your our siblings have to be in a space as well to want to receive what we are saying. We just can't go into a situation not ready. You could yeah. be ready all day long. Mm -hmm. You could be ready to, 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 to give, but if they're not ready to receive, to receive it yeah. and to to uh, to really see that was the reality. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't put that down. You can't put that on somebody and just be like, "Well, I need you to feel this way." Yeah. So those yeah. are that's the conversation that needs to be had. You don't. Why do you need me to feel how you you how you how felt? You feel, yeah. I'm not ever gonna know how you felt because I didn't go through what you went through. Mm -hmm. and but it was different for me. But um, like I said, you have to be open and willing to hear and understand and really take it in and not be like and not and not be one of them conversations where you interject in and be like well i don't remember no let that Listening person to reply <laughs> let, let that person have their moment to yeah. tell you what it is don't be discount don't feelings. discount anybody's feelings yeah. you know Un understand what it is so yeah like listen understand and execute and execute and then I think also with siblings, when you do that, you'll show you'll have more, you know, respect, have more love because uh, it, there's is ain't that, you know, people you put up a wall, I think. Mm -hmm. Right. And you might put up a wall with your siblings because those are the people you grew up with and them the ones who you went through the stuff, most, the most yeah, with. Yeah. And so when you go on just to say if you go on and you meet your your spouse that person doesn't know what you went through. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to deal with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but eventually with your siblings, you are going to have to, I feel you do need to have that conversation. Absolutely. You do need to um, have an open Air ear um, and they have to, all any of them need to have an open ear and to really and truly understand what it is. And, um, conversations of not placing the blame yeah right because of something that happened 50 years ago <laughs> when did we let go mm -hmm. you know a conversation of okay it's time to let go yeah. because i've closure. told i have closure yeah. Clo oh closure. closure conversation you know and even just yeah we have to we have to let have the conversation I think in, with siblings of letting go, really understanding that I'm trying to move forward. Mm -hmm. Don't bring, don't, don't try and reel me back in right. to, yeah. to that again, yeah. because that was then we're now, you know what I mean? Absolutely. I mean, have a conversation and then of course you'll never forget whatever it is. <laughs> it might be a thing of you plot me on my finger and you've been mad at me mm. for <laughs> 15 years yeah. <laughs> but, but i didn't I know didn't, i didn't know it made I you feel that way exactly i didn't even know you so why mad. you ain't tell me you've you been mad for 20 years man, you ain't, you told ain't me. Tell let me, me man let me let me know we right? done been at the party we done been <laughs> in 10 family reunions and you ain't told me nothing but you hot right and i don't know why you mad at me or why you don't want to um talk to me that's why you don't want to drink nothing with me man come on I don't want to fool with you, yeah. you know. So we get we get so heated over something All so small, and just having have a conversation. Those yeah. are conversations that you should have, mm -hmm. but be be willing to listen and really just be like the, those are their feelings, and they have their feelings are valid. Absolutely, and we don't have any right to try and shut them down. You know, absolutely, absolutely. Now, oh, I don't know. What kind of conversations do you need to have with your mammy? 
and your pappy. I don't like that word, mammy. Your mammy? No. What about your pappy? No. You don't like the neither one of them? None. Your mama or your daddy? There you go. Huh. Your parents. What kind of conversation do we need to be having with our parents? I know for one, we need to uh, have the conversation of um, things are not like they used to be. So things that y'all were, uh, things that were cool back then, like, for instance, uh, the whole go to college and things like that, um, times have changed. Oh. So we need to have the conversation with our parents to stop trying to feed us this. Uh, you need to get a job. You need to go to college. You need to uh, do these, to do all of these things that are not really relevant in this time. So I think that's a conversation because a lot of times our parents, I know not my parents, but a lot of parents will try to uh, push you to the career the, the college, uh, stay in school, it pays type of stuff. And um, like I say, times have changed. Um, you don't necessarily need to go to 15 years of college to um, achieve the things that you need or you want out of life. So there are other routes um, and um, the old school ways have changed. So I think that's a conversation that needs to be had with our parents. Other than that, what you think? I don't know. What kind of conversation do you have with your parents? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you my mama. I love you. Um, well, the type of conversations that I have is really just me saying what I'm going to do. And they For be getting like, com confirmation type? For getting confirmation, no, I just be saying it. Oh, you just be. I'd be. This, 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 this is what you're gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do, and I know that sometimes the it's not agreed upon, right? Mm -hmm. But they know that it's not their. Like you're just saying, it's not their choice that I have to that live your own life. I, that I'm grown, mm -hmm. and that I have whatever decision I make, I have. I'm ultimately responsible for that. They are not responsible. Now I, I have the right to tell, tell them what I'm doing. I, honest, I don't have to really tell them anything. anything. That's real. Um, but just they, my parents, like, mm -hmm. I want you to know what I'm doing. I want you to know these endeavors that I'm going into. And it really, it just be conversations because, and also why I have, I think, conversations that I have, like when I say just saying what's going on, what I'm doing, ideas and everything. And it's really, you know, um, just to have just to have a conversation. Yeah. Just to have not I'm not even going to say something to talk about because I, I just. It's just a I, I mean, I don't mind conversing with my parents, <laughs> you know, I mean. Because I know it's never going to be a thing because I know they're going to respect my boundaries. Mm -hmm. Because, like I'm saying, although they might not agree with whatever it is that I might you, say yeah, or that yeah. I might do. But at the end of the day, that's not on them. Right. Yeah. Now, my mama, she might not, she she probably won't agree with somebody, but my daddy, he'll say, he'll say he don't agree, but it's like, but ultimately, it's your, it's your, it's your choice, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> and so I started giggling, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, parents want you to do better. That's, that's all it is, whether it be college, a job, or something else. Parents want you to succeed in whatever you do. That is real. But success looks different these days. Yeah, but I think they have the best. They have your best interest at heart. Yeah, in those cases. and they know that. I here's why I think a lot of parents like. Well, I don't think parents maybe our age are pushing college, but I, our parents like around. Hold on, I'm trying to get like our yeah. age. No, not like our age, but parents. Our, our the, 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 parents' the age. age of yes. our parents. There you go. I stumbled <laughs> over that. Um, that was what it was, and so it's not that they are trying to just stamp that onto us. 
I don't think that's what it is. It's just that they know, okay, if you go to college, then you can go find a job. Like that's you, the route that's, that they know. Right. Yeah. So now, I'm not saying to throw no shade and no nothing and uh, no one or anything like that. It's just and oh, and then because they know, because they've seen possibly you know they've seen a lot of yeah. stories mm -hmm. my child went to college and they're this and this and yeah, this doctor, right, lawyer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that same thing is i don't want you to be like me i want you to do, do better, better so me. the the college the, that that just seems like the most logical yeah, because route. Yeah. and then i they want us to do better because and they probably don't want you to want to see you be an entrepreneur or want to see you and a lot of times they, they think it's the risk that they don't want you to take so many risks right they want you to be in safe. that box yeah not in, yeah. even in a box safe i want you to, i want you to do better but i want you to do it in this mm -hmm. way and it, okay and then if you you know and some things it might be go to college save up some money and then yeah, you know you'll have yeah. money saved up and then you can be able to take that risk that's all it is mm -hmm. you know they but want you to take the safest route as possible right so that and that, that's why i think that conversation is, is heavy but also, as children, as their children, we have to be able to be listened to, like vocalize that this is not what we want. Mm -hmm. This is not what I want to do. And I think just for me personally, um, I think maybe for all my siblings, I'm, I'm not going to speak for them. I'm going to speak for myself that we had those that with our parents, that it was like. It, well, if that's not what you want to do, okay. What you what you, you going to do, do though, do, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. What are you going to do? I know that's not what you want to do, but what, what are you, are you going to do? Yeah. do? Because you're just not about to yeah. not do <clears throat> anything, mm -hmm. but what are you going to do? So I think, yeah, but as, th as their children, we do have to vocalize and say, and not even in a, a disrespectful way, you know, in a manner of this isn't what I want to do. I want to try something different. Yeah. And I'm saying make them understand, but make them understand, like help them, help them understand. understand. The traditional route is not the route that I'm wanting not to take. Not even the traditional route. I mean, just help them understand, yeah. help them understand and be like, oh, okay. Because I see, you know, I watch YouTubers foreign their parents are foreign mm -hmm. if you want to go there their parents are foreign and they're looking at their children like you want to make you youtube doing? videos yeah. mm -hmm. but if you, you look at your you late you but if you look at them now oh they're so the parents are so proud mm -hmm. but it's they're not they didn't proud. understand they did they didn't understand the vision right but they it wasn't they're not proud because they're making money but they're proud because they're, they're, you they're followed something yeah. and you you're, you're succeeding it. Yeah. in it that's yeah. all it is mm -hmm. and so I, me as a parent i want the girls to know that i want you to succeed and that Whatever it is that you want to do, I know what they want to do. I just I hope they don't change their mind. See, yeah. they didn't tell me, mm -hmm. and now I'm gonna have to be that parent. Like, okay, I got zip my mouth if they it. if they yeah. change their mind, right? But <laughs> like, hold on, but you said you wanted to be. Well, mommy, I don't want to be that. Wait, hold on, no, nah, you need to come yeah, back because yeah. <laughs> we ain't wish you watch it flipping flopping. Nah, nah, but that's the point of what I'm saying. We're yeah. not gonna try and sway their sway, opinion yeah. mm -hmm. or change their their thoughts, but. Yeah, just I mean, th and those are simple conversations with our parents. And just like I was saying with um, siblings, having a conversation for them to understand, we also have to have those conversations with our parents to understand. Because like you said, they grew up in a different era than we do. They mm -hmm. wanted us to do they they did enough for us to be better. Right. And so I think they have to also be willing because we can you can be talking to a wall you know yeah. uh, you can be talking to a wall and so help them to understand having conversations about just simple things um but knowing your boundaries letting them know where your boundaries are mm -hmm. don't allow them to cross over those boundaries um, because they still see us. We're still their children. Their children. That's my baby. <laughs> you know, yeah. we're still their children, but we do, but we're grown and we have children of our own and 
the boundary has to be set and they have to understand okay they gotta fall mm -hmm. on their own absolutely and if they need help then they'll will if they need help then we'll ask them but you know we gotta get through life and we gotta, gotta but to and, and have have conversations good, we got to have the conversations mm -hmm. yeah. shortcut yourself Help yourself out. I think it would all these conversations that we just said that should be had should have a lot. Take out the time to um, have these conversations like weekly, maybe <laughs> not even those conversations. Set just, some time just, aside. Yeah, to yeah. talk, mm -hmm. to really talk, to get an understanding mm -hmm. of who we're dealing with and yeah. why they do the things that they do. Then you won't be making no assumptions. Yeah, no assumptions. Mm -hmm. No, well, and, and then you would know that if it didn't come out of Camille's mouth, then that's not what it is. Yeah, exactly. That if you just... If you, I didn't hear it from the horse itself, then it ain't real. And then if I did hear it, then it's like, okay, that respect, you know, we're talking about kids and respect, mm -hmm. that respect of it all. But, yeah. Set, set, and I, but I think in um, all of those, too, we all set boundaries in, in every single one of in those in, of in, them, um, yeah. in the conversations. Mm -hmm. Children have boundaries and we need to know like not when to cross their boundaries as well. And I'm not saying that that line there, that's a slim line. Yeah, a very you know, slim you know. line. Um, but we still need to show them that they have boundaries as well. That they, Because they're their own person. Exactly. They are their own people. We're all these, the relationships, children, siblings, and parents, we are all our own people. Individuals. individuals yeah. And our thoughts are all different. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know. We feel things different. We yes. see things different. Yes. We hear things different. Yes. We talk different. Absolutely. So just uh, keep that in mind. Have, have when a we're having these conversations. <laughs> and be willing to have these conversations. Be willing to... I know a lot of people are not open to opening up because it is difficult. It mm, is hard. Absolutely. Um, but like I said, just have a conversation of how you doing, yeah. you know, and every week <laughs> yeah. it might just be a speaking. How you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, how was your day? And start like that and then get deep, get a little bit deeper, you yeah. know? Well, how do you feel about this? And how do you feel about that? You know, converse, Conversations, conversations. Oh, cause conversating. Yeah, no, we don't want we conversating. We gonna conversate today, nah, y'all. We ain't gonna be conversating. This was a good conversation. This was a good conversate. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this was a real good conversation. To have a conversation. Yes, indeed. Well, I, um, I stumbled a few times. Yeah, Lord, I did too. Man. I kind of got stuck. Yeah, you're up. That's all, folks. But um, yes, we have come to the end of a yet again another episode of Is My Point Valid? See, what y'all think? I point. Was it was it valid? Do you think that having a conversation in your relationships with your children, with your siblings, with your parents, is it is it worth it? Do we need to talk? We need to talk. Yeah. What y'all think? Let us know. Um, we appreciate everyone who tunes in. Um, come tune in once again with us next Monday. Yes. We're going to be live once again yes. at 430 yes. on GMT Radio. Hey, You can check us out at Is My Point Valid, our group on Facebook. IsMyPointValid.com is the website. Um, Brandon D. Stocker is me. Camille A. Stocker is her. <laughs> and we about this thing. We'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>